It's a very important moment in my life when I play soccer uh, in the street. Uh, where I live now, very close, we have a little street, and we play with uh, the pepper ball. And then uh, so one door, and then I see the fire, and then I play, I stop to play soccer, and then I go to watching, and then I saw incredible fire, and then I saw one guy, the many people, they make incredible giant pieces for me, I think it's incredible pieces. I look at a lot of fire, the people have an incredible hesitate, great tension, and then I stay like uh, very attracted at this kind of moment, and then they finish. Uh, they, they put the annealing, and then I, I say to myself, I, I want to do something like this in my life. Welcome to the Corning Museum of Glass. My name is David Whitehouse and I'm the museum's director and it's my pleasure to be your host today. Museums do a great deal more than simply collect things. They display them and they help the public to understand more about them. One of the ways that we help the public to understand and appreciate glass is we operate our own studio where we teach glass making and glass working to students of all ages and levels of ability. This is the first of the studio's master classes on tape. We've chosen to be our first teacher, Lino Tagliapietra, the great Muranese glassmaker, who for two generations has been a leading figure on the scene. I think it's particularly appropriate to have chosen Lino to be our first teacher. As I speak, we're displaying a special exhibition of Muranese glass made in the 20th century. And Lino was chosen last year to receive the museum's prestigious Reikau Commission. In fact, his commission pieces are right beside me here. What we're going to do is watch Lino Tagliapietra as he prepares canes and then uses them to make his celebrated blown pieces. I think the most important part to teach, for me, give it the love for the material, for the glass. They start becoming crazy for the material. They think only about glass. And then some technique, not technique, I think, yes, I think it's important. But the most important thing is always the love for the what are you doing. And the technique idea, they go together, it's great. Without idea, it became a little bit complicated. And the students want to copy Dante Marioni, for example. Somebody else wants to copy my work. Okay, if you want to try, do it. But uh, I try to give the, the students the idea, the fine line with copy and inspiration. And then you must always try everything you want. But when you go for making your personal work, you have a personal idea, personal things. Otherwise, it doesn't work very well. You go to copy, and the copy is you know, great. And for himself, if their own personality never come out. They must find a very strong way for come out of their own personality. And they always, as a student, I push this direction. Pulling cane, the gather is very important. Uh, if you uh, want to pull cane, uh, the, the rod, the color must be staying absolutely in the center. Uh, you must be very careful where you gather. Your gather is in the center, absolutely in the center. Otherwise, we have a sense of different space in the middle and make, it, make a little bit of glass, a little bit uncomfortable. It's not right. 
If you make a simple PC, you see the difference very easy. If I want to make a reticello, sometimes, mostly the time, I gather four times. And then for other, a lot of king, sometimes I gather three. I, I use a red color, for example. Uh, I gather two because uh, I want, otherwise the color became too weak. And then I prefer to have a, a strong present, the color, depend what I want to do. So, what I have in mind, what I want to use. But specific, uh, the, the rod must be very warm in the glass absolutely in the center. Per intornarlo all'ombra dei ricordi, l'inverno copre le colline verdi, di neve bianca come le notti. Now, in uh, the class movement, we have uh, probably some people have incredible scale, but I don't find the same energy in the 1979 for some reason. I have uh, some people in the top, it's great, they have incredible energy. But the bass, uh, uh, at the, probably at the time, the bass is very short, very narrow. And the, it's like the pyramid is like this, and now it's probably like this. Uh, I feel probably. The people who have a more independent, they copy a little bit less. They have a, but probably more artistic uh, energy than now. It's a very funny because probably I, I say right, the people say the idea is the technique is cheap. Not necessarily you have a technique for every idea. But uh, for some reason, I think we have an educational pro uh, problem. We, we must to teach sometimes the people develop their own personality, not only the, 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 the technique. And probably this one is one, probably the point we must go in the future, how to teach. And develop, okay, the technique is fine, we, we must do it. Because without technique you don't do anything. But the main time, we must help the people uh, discover self uh, their own idea. E quando se dice sì, tieni la mente, non sa da fa morire, sto cor amante. Quando se dice sì, na sede maggio, e mo tieni un coraggio. Adesso io vi scherzi, non vi scherzi. Yeah, why scherzi? I don't like so much the student, they uh, take a drawing or use the video camera. I like the student, they pay attention uh, directly, a very strong concentration, what I do. Because every single movement, every single detail uh, is very important. It's, uh, it's like one speech. You start one way and you finish one way. And then you must follow everything. If you don't follow, you miss many things. You miss something, it's possible to connect with the something else. And give you the freedom, the student, to try to make a mistake. And probably this one is a more difficult sometimes. Now, it depends on the student, students. Uh, normally, very good students, is the students are very concentrated and they try for many, many times. Probably the, mo the most difficult part.
Tu go na desk, go na desk, go na desk. Don't walk, don't walk too much. Depends on the quality of the mud you use. The, the coating must be very light, very even, very nice. Sometimes it's very nice if you have a, uh, the mud, the coating in uh, one box. You keep it maybe for you keep it for five months, or six months there, become very, very muddy, very great, even with a little bit of water, and then you go, you brush, it became great. The very important thing is uh, keep the the plate. Even don't burn too much, don't eat too much, otherwise you have a trouble a little bit in mouth. I think the Corny Studio here, in terms of the facilities, one probably one of the best in the world. And then it also is a great location, a great museum. And sometimes it's not exactly uh, very good for the studio. They have a very close to museum like this, because the student is uh, too distraught for too much power, too many things. Everything is going on, you know. In five days, the people came here, they found everything. And then, you know, it's like we have a large menu, you want to eat everything, you are confusing. What do you eat now? And then, okay. And then, the, probably the teacher must come down and say, okay, okay, uh, watching everything you want, you must have came to the base. We start now to blow the simple things. And then you feel a little bit shame because you saw fantastic things. And then you go to talking about straight bubble, gay, <laughs> simple gather, and they like this. Uh, what I have feeling for the future, I am sure, uh, even is possible teach for the students, young students, uh, a great opportunity for uh, a studio for collector, uh, educational program for uh, the people that work in museum around the world, yeah. where it's possible make experience. Uh, share the knowledge, discovery how maybe somebody do the species, and then also the process was to make the uh, same experience in self or improve the color process. Uh, it's possible study maybe because here is a without limit what is possible to do in this kind of place. If you pick up a king, the, um, the king no, must be never, never at to art, became flat. Because if it became flat, uh, it's very easy, you trap a bubble. You must keep the channel through, through the pieces. And then it must be enough art for squeeze, for moving, and not too cold, for, for example, uh, for jump and don't touch it together. And, uh, it's so necessary very, very, very fine the temperature. You possible squeeze a little bit, keep it uh, together. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little experience might help a lot. Yeah. Mostly the people, for example, in Murano, we make a plate, uh, we make a plate uh, oh, directly with a cane, without gather. But I found uh, sometimes uh, gather over the cane, make the cane better. If we make one bowl, one plate, if you, when you twist the cane, uh, you touch a punty, the cane never come out because the punty touch the glass. 
take out the stoppers. And then the twist sometimes became fantastic too. But if it depends on the experience, the, the gather over the cane is a very important, like everything. But it's a much more important because if you don't gather very well, you make a bubble, you touch the cane, uh, practically you destroy the pieces. And then this one is a little bit, a little bit shame. But you must gather very well anyway. In my experience, for example, I came through from when we work in the factory, in the wooden factory, wooden fullness. But the skill is much better. And then, beside the skill, we have also energy, energy and uh, idea, and the opportunity. For example, we have a skill because we have a uh, we want to make the invention in glass. We have an uh, idea because we have a great artist to work with uh, the, uh, the glass in Murano. We have an opportunity because we have uh, the Biennale, Triennale d'Arte, and the, where the glass is, must be the, almost the same level, uh, the same level, the, the painting, the art. Uh, this one, we, we miss something like this. Uh, probably only the state I understand now uh, where the glass is possible became art or no art. In Murano, in Europe, we have uh, some difficulty. Uh, still, we make too much glass, too much production. Uh, we have uh, maybe uh, too much skill, where everything became easy, you know. Uh, Sometimes the skill, when we have too much, uh, you feel it's easy to do everything, and we don't respect it so much. And probably because we go too much in reproduction, the old things. But uh, probably uh, what we miss now in our society, in Murano, all over the world, is the invention. The invention, the idea, the energy, the invention. Uh, probably in the glass, like uh, in every media that the best part of the life. Uh, the invention not come out uh, like this. You must do it, you must spend the time, energy. It's not easy. Sometimes it's much more difficult the, the technique. Because the technique you have a practice maybe for 20, 30, 40 years. But the invention, you must make a practice too. Uh, you must be looking for. I started to probably use a cork in 1957, 59, just before, um, probably around when I became a young master. At the time, we make a lot, a lot of pieces with uh, we call it Swedish style, a little bit simple shape, with uh, without marking side. We use a lot of paper. And then I realized uh, uh, sometime for shaping, uh, we have a cork, and uh, we have a beautiful shape in the cork. It's much more easy to make the ball. And then I start to make the, 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 I work with the cork. And then I, I feel very comfortable, for example, for squeeze, make oval, for shaping, 
Uh, many people use a pepper uh, with uh, the glue inside, squeeze shaping. I, I like it, the corks because the cork helped me a lot. Uh, very easy, my, uh, very comfortable, very nice. I think the cork is a quite, quite new, but it's not completely new. For example, in South America, the people use a cork for blowing the mold. They use uh, glue, glue and cork, and then they burn and became like a charcoal. Became fantastic, work very well. It may also in Tuscany, the people use a cork because it's more cheaper, the other quality. Yeah, we have a very long story with uh, the cork. We don't use it so much because sometimes it make a little bit smoky, a little bit powder. Well, uh, it's a great material, it's absolutely great material. The punti never it must be very cold, and then the pieces must be a little bit soft. Uh, you must eat the right point, and this one is in general is it a good way to do because uh, if you are too cold, uh, it's very easy to broke. If you are very smooth, a little bit warm, it's much more easy. Than, than you work very comfortable, much more easy, and then it's a difficulty to broke. Because if the piece is, is a stiff, rigid, it's enough, maybe you push a little bit, uh, crack. And then if it's a little bit soft, it never crack, because it's a perfect, you know, it's a little bit smooth, the temperature is great. To make the neck depend on how you eat. If you eat, for example, too deep, the moi, uh, you throw away the moi. If you eat a little bit in the middle, the moi stays a little bit cooler. It's much easier for you to pull the neck without having trouble. This one depends on how you put the glass, where, where you eat overall. Artists you know, like uh, uh, eat. Like, okay, I want to become artist. I bought maybe um, some prosciutto bread, and then I do it. And then I, I think art is something you must be suffer a little bit. You must spend your time. And then is it not enough? You suffer. You must be. You must have something inside to say. Otherwise, uh, I don't care. It's, it doesn't work. Yeah, you know, the, the most important part, normally, the way you go in 11, is that the punti must be warm. Um, for example, I don't use it so much, uh, the oxygen torch, but I think if uh, sometime in the past I use it for a crack off, I don't use the water, I melt practically the punti with the oxygen torch. And then sometimes when we have a problem, when we crack off the punti, we have a torch. We hit the, the torch over the punti because it makes it much more comfortable. And then the temperature in this place, the punti place, is always great if it's warm. Make, a, make, a, make a more comfortable things, more sure things, more safe. It's a quite difficult to broke. Oh, I think I am extremely lucky. Uh, lucky for a couple of reasons. First of all, I do something I like. Uh, give me an opportunity 
um, to express what I think. Not exactly everything. I think uh, I miss always something, but uh, it makes me very comfortable because I feel great uh, when one piece come out very good, and then also work with the glass, the materials. Absolutely, only the people blow glass know what it means when you make something uh, very special. I think um, the idea. What is possible, what you don't do today, the hope, more the idea, the hope, what you don't do today is possible to do tomorrow. And uh, even only if you want to do. This one probably is the most important thing. Uh, because the, 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 when you blow glass, sometimes the difficulty make one nice pieces. But tomorrow is possible to do it much better than today. Never, never lose the hope you must make it much better, much better. And they increase your skill in an incredible way. I think. I hope. Thank you. But now we have the rise.